Vox Glacier is just over 13 kilometers long and drops 2,600 meters from the Southern Alps, ending in a lush rainforest about 300 meters above sea level. You can see that high ground up here where it's really broken. That's the upper ice fall. That's the fastest moving part of this glacier and the maximum speed it can do here is about five meters a day. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. It's a really steep gradient. You know, from sea level to the top of the highest mountains is some of the steepest gradients in the world. Westland National Park is home to two amazing glaciers. The Fox Glacier feels like a pure powerhouse to climb. The old school pick there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Here and in Franz Josef are about the only two places in the world where they still kind of guide like this. You know, on the surface you've got that sort of white crust, so where it's been warmed up, or any air bubbles or gas bubbles in the ice will expand and you know, take up more space and start seeing the white. Fox Glacier gets loads of snowfall, averaging over 50 metres a year. The blue ice is the hard, dense, really cold ice. Beautiful, huh? It is beautiful, eh? You've got the lines and the colours and the shapes. It's got these curves. It's the most central, eh? Malcolm's right, it is incredibly central, and climbing a glacier like this should be on everyone's bucket list. Well, how thick is the ice right where we are? Where we're standing now, guesstimates are 200 to 300 metres. The glacier's been receding pretty hard out the last three years now. Uh -huh. You see out here where the waterfall is, that was under the ice. Oh no wait, so just a few years yeah. ago? If you were standing here, you couldn't see the waterfall. Get out and experience this before it disappears. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>